I am Hans and this is my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Today we're going to be doing a little range test on my e-bikes that I built for my wife and myself. I'm curious to see how far they'll go and how much power you'll have at the very end of the battery life if it's actually like you have to start pedaling or if it'll keep strong and then just stop working. So we're going to do that right now. Let's go! Before I take off, you gotta look at this. Like if I just barely touch the bike, see there's a weak point right down here. This is just a really, really crappy kickstand. So a while ago, when I was working on this electric bike that is no longer electric, I bought this kickstand, which you could see, in my opinion, is much more stable. And I bought two of them. And they were different brands, but it was pretty much the same kickstand. So I want to, oh no. Oh man, so unorganized. Found it. Okay, so what I want to do is put this one on this bike. So it does look like it came with one of these, which is kind of the same bolt as this one down here. All right, let's see about this one. There I gotta hold the bike up with my head. Oh yeah, I think I got it going in. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. That one's still charging? That one says it's full. Should just be a couple more minutes and that one should be done. So we've got my map, my ride right here. We're gonna go ahead and go start workout. Start workout. Start workout. See, I'm not lying. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my pocket and we're gonna go put on my helmet. The last time I did a test ride on this bike, I was not wearing a helmet. And a lot of you thought it would be a good idea to point out how dumb I was to not wear a helmet. Now, I'm not disagreeing with you by any means. It was dumb. It was really dumb. Throttling up. And we're gonna go have some fun. For now, this is the only mount that I have, so I'm gonna go to the office and we're gonna grab another mount. It goes on my chest, so it'll be a little bit better view. But right now, I don't have it, so my map, my ride thing's gonna tell us how far we went. I don't know if you can hear me. Woo! See, they were happy I was wearing my helmet. Kickstand works. Great. How's it going? Good, how are you doing, man? Good, can't complain. All nice right. day out. This is the first time you guys have ever been in this shop. <sighs> so much stuff to sell. It's a good problem to have. It is a good problem to have, but we sold out of the stuntman harness. So I had to sell mine to a customer because we were out of stock, but we're back in stock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it says we're still at full charge. See that? Alright, ooh, look at this. Fresh pavement. We should come do some burnouts in here in the Porsche. Yeah, buddy. This is Burnout City. Brian's captain.
never done this before. This is probably a more interesting angle. But I'm also probably going so fast that you can't hear anything I'm saying. Now hiring, host RVs, let's go get a job. The North Side Bar and Grill, doing good. Drink them if you got them. how far we've gone. Distance 6.23 miles. Tesla, the covered up license plate, just aching to get it pulled over. Man, this place grew a lot. Should be coming up on the golf course here in a minute. Whoop, speed bump. You left your lights on, BMW. We're going to the park right here. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Off-road. It's official. We are doing it. Oh, this is a cool park over here. I gotta show you guys this. Look at this park. Out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of right next to the golf course, but just this big open area. We used to come out here and fly our quadcopters. I would say Wes used to fly the quadcopters, and I used to yell at him and tell him to not crash it. Now I'm riding an electric bike that I built. Wee -hoo. Where did that trail go? Yeah, the stopping power of this sucks. It sucks. Let's go down here. I still have so much juice left. That's like lots of power. I don't really want to run out because then I got to pedal all the way home. But oh yeah, oh yeah. Just some weekend work out here Friday night on the river come on down drink some beer look at this oh my god let's see how far we've gone let's take a little break 
in this beautiful spot. So I burned zero calories. How can it tell that I burned zero calories? How can it tell I'm not? 7.15 miles. I feel like we should be able to go 18 miles, 20 miles on a charge. We're also out here in the sticks, so I don't know. Oh my God, this thing wants to wheelie out from underneath me. You guys can see why I want to sell this and get something with some suspension on it. Because then, ripping around on these little trails that are all over this town that I live in would be a lot of fun. Looks good. Let's do it. Taking some pictures. I got hired to take some pictures. I'm not gonna charge him, but. Take some pictures, make some money. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see this. We're down to one bar. This thing might not have the range. That means that my battery is more than halfway depleted. I've gone up some pretty big hills and done some things like that. So I could see why it is. Oh yeah, it's even in the yellow. And I just stopped and took a break. I'm gonna go back. So, heading back. I don't wanna get stuck somewhere. So I went to my office. And then we cruised off the dirt road there, out by the golf course. Yeah, I can feel it now. Oh yeah, I can feel it now. I'm worried that I might ruin these batteries. I really am. But I'm gonna push it because that's what I do. I just turn that thing off cruise it the rest of the way home 10 miles what a jet All right, I'm super disappointed. Zero calories burned. It took me 48 minutes and 32 seconds. Let's pause that. We went 11.27 miles. I thought, for sure, I thought that we would have gotten 18 miles, for sure. This is like 10 miles and I don't even know if these batteries will charge back up at this point because we did go way too far. If you look at the map, you can see where we went. It's kind of cool. We left the house, went to the office, went around, went over the golf course, went over here, and then we came back home. 11.27, and I had to pedal on the way back. I'm gonna try to charge these batteries up really quick and let's see if they'll take a charge. They may be too low. I just barely limped home. It was brutal. And in the process of getting back to the house here, I actually ruined one of the batteries. So I had two 10,000 milliamp batteries in the case in the back. So we were creating 48 volts and one of them discharged so low that it wouldn't take a charge to charge it back up. I know there's some kind of tricky tricks that you can do, but to be honest with these lipos, I don't like messing with them. So I have a bunch of them laying around from my old business. So I'm gonna just discharge those ones and recycle them. 
and we will continue on with our testing. I have to say I'm super disappointed. 10 miles and then limping home is kind of pathetic. I think it's time to build an 18650 battery pack. In one of my upcoming videos, I'm gonna do that. I already bought everything you need to make the battery packs, the spot welders and all this stuff. I just haven't had time to make one. I have a 12 volt battery that I wanna make for a motorcycle. So that would be like a good starter before I go and try to do a 48 volt. So I'll do the 12 volt, then I'll do the 48 volt, and then I would like to do a 72 volt. So if you guys wanna watch that, click the bell button, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much, and you'll see me in the next video.